Well, hello there. Uh, it is May 13th. I thought I'd give you a little update on the bees. It's been a little while since I did any videoing whatsoever, and I've done some stuff to them, but not too much. Um, well, actually a little bit. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you just a short update. I'm not really even gonna get into them, but uh, I'm gonna check. I put some feed on them, and I wanna make sure they have enough stuff to eat. So I think they'll be good though. Okay, so this is what their fields look like. They are absolutely carpeted in dandelions, and the other side of the road is even more so. Um, our apple trees are blooming. I don't think there's one within view of me. Uh, I think there's one right over there. You can't hardly see it on the video, I don't think. There's a little bit of blossom right there, you can see. Um, but they are lighting everything up. Uh, I just had to do a little bit of work and threw some sticks over back. And uh, up at the top of the hill there, you see the tops of those maple trees. Uh, in amongst there, there's a bunch of apple trees. They are all in full bloom and they are covered in these girls. That entrance is just about as busy as can be. They are busy, busy, busy. All kinds of pollen coming in like crazy. I haven't opened the, uh, the lid just yet. I think the last time I did a video of any kind, there were two hives on this stand. Holy crap, what happened? Uh, I actually brought one up to my friend's place um, a couple miles to the north. And uh, he's got a bunch of apple trees and plum trees and a bunch of stuff there. And his mom used to do some beekeeping and they really miss having the bees. So I stuck one of my hives up there and I figured it might just stay right there. He's next to a whole bunch of swampy stuff and he's got some hay fields um, right there close by. And there's a grape orchard too right there. I don't think that does anything for the bees, but I haven't actually looked that up yet. I haven't ever been anywhere where there's grapes, so I don't really know anything about them. I can watch the entrance literally all day. So I was out, um, let me see, it was about a week, well, a little more than a week after I got them set up initially. I added another deep box and that had a little bit of drawn comb, but mostly um, plain foundation and a couple foundationless frames, I think. I don't remember. I had two different setups for this one and the other hive and I don't remember which one I put where, but uh, either way, um, when I checked them that day, they didn't have anything for food stores left in the box from their initial setup. Um, which I was worried about. So I added a, another box on top here. This is not my fancy box. This is just a, that's a deep super with, uh, I threw a couple things in there as a bridge and they've got a Well, they've drank about half or so of that quart jar. I'm gonna leave it just like that. If you can see them, they're obviously up in that second box. The other hive was too. I put a feeder on them. That one's a little fancier. I, I built that one myself. And uh, it's like a uh, drownless kind of system. They come up on either side and then there's couple things um, milk jugs I cut in half and they can walk down into there but they're all sealed in they can't get up in that box at all so it's pretty easy to to fill it back up when we need but, yeah they're all set with that I'm gonna leave that alone I'm probably gonna come back in oh probably Sunday today's Thursday probably Sunday 
I'd like to get in them today, but I, I just don't have time to do all that. But I'll get in them Sunday. I don't think they're going to be wanting to swarm just yet. I'm not too worried about that. They've got a lot of space to work with and deal with. And, um, yeah, if they do get into swarm mode, I'll just split them because I want more bees. I can go for bees upon bees. Upon bees upon bees. Give me some more bees. Preferably freebies. All right, that's enough of me being a being a dillwad. Yep, so this is where they live. I think it was about two days after I set them up that all the dandelions started popping, and then they get into they're starting to wane now a little bit. Even they're only real big for a week or two. So, yep, but they got that. The apple trees are going. couple other things let me see oh I was out somewhere else the other day I took the kids for a little hike and I saw a couple uh, little cherry trees those are all blooming I don't know if we have any within striking distance of these guys of cherry trees but got a little bit of stuff it's a little bit of this growing out here in the under stuff the undergrowth and those are blooming they were on those a bit not right here in front of me, obviously, but other places. So. Okay, just a quick update for you.